Good evening. My name is Robert Robson, and today I want to talk to you about how to improve 11th grade math scores at Anderson High School. The purpose in the, um, of this research was to see if students can increase their math scores over a one-year academic period. Uh, the purpose of the research was to implement an action plan that would have an effect on students' assess to determine if or if not the math test score on the ACT can be increased to inform all stakeholders, which was administration and faculty staff with my findings. The research questions that I had was, can students increase their math scores in one school year? The second research question was, will the program implemented have a positive effect on the student ACT math score? Here's the demographics of Anderson High School. Anderson High School is located in Anderson, Alabama. Uh, there's a 423 students that enroll in Anderson High School from 9th to 12th grade. There are 111 11th graders. There are 65 males and 41 females. The minority rate of Anderson High School is 96%. And most of them consist of African Americans, which make up 90% of the students. All students at Anthony High School receive free or reduced lunch, which uh, come from Title I funds. Anthony is classified as a 4A school by the Alabama High School Sports Association. The interesting thing I know about the, uh, the city of Anthony is the uh, majority of the Caucasian students go to private schools and the majority of the African-American students go to Anderson City School. Here are some of the conditions of literature that we had. Low math scores among high school students have been among the issues in America. Uh, here are some of the issues that says that we thought were maybe barriers that we faced at Anderson High School. Teacher certification, there's a lot of, of uncertified teachers at Anderson High School. In particular, there's a one or two in the math area. Um, poverty. Uh, our students come from high poverty, crime rate uh, areas, and um, a lot of them receive um, free, uh, well, free lunch because of that, or, or qualify as free uh, lunch students if everyone didn't receive it. So again, a lot of students have a low income for um, very reason. Substance abuse is a high um, issue in our area. Our students come from a lot of uh, parents that involve alcohol and marijuana use. Some more barriers that was the violence. Anderson, does, Anderson, Alabama has a high crime rate, one of the highest amongst um, any city in the state of Alabama, top five. And um, them are some of the barriers that we thought that our students uh, were facing. But research showed that um, this, this did not have a big effect on the students' uh, test score. So we tried other ways to increase the student test scores by implementing different programs, such as SWOOP, Take Action, Professional Development for Teachers, the Coaching Class, and the Academic Performance. Um, study that we did. Also, uh, SWOOP was a program that was geared toward teenagers that would help students um, on the ACT score. We did a lot of research on that before we implemented that program and we also used this program in um, side by side with in classroom instruction on a daily basis. Here's all the methods and designs of our study. The purpose of this study again was to determine if we can improve or how to improve the ACT score at Anthony High School. The study consists of 25 random selected 11 graders. Uh, the start of the year was when, when the study uh, had started, or that was between August and also in January. We had two separate groups of 25 students that were random selected. Again, all of them was in the 11th grade and they were grouped together. They took the pre-ACT so we can track their data throughout the semester. Uh, 45 minutes time were allowed per uh, class period on teaching instruction. 
And the other 15 was an intervention program called Swoop that we use so the student can work online and practice their skills and get results back immediately. Middle of the semester, they had a test in the final test which, um, so students can track their growth. And the program ran again from August to May, from the beginning of the school year until the end. Here are some of the findings that I came up with after implementing the program and um, implementing the action plan. Taking advantage of all the resources that are provided are beneficial to teachers as well as students, allowing students to make those for themselves help motivate them to work hard. So again, the students had goal setting after they took the pre-ACT uh, pre test and with the students uh, will try to track their progress um, um, quarterly by every time they take the test, which again, which was three times a semester and implement an action plan with students daily plan can help the students become more engaged and confident in providing ways to be successful. Again, students took place every day with this program. And so again, they will um, adapt to it because they saw it in everyday planning and everything they did was geared towards improving their math scores on ACT. Here are some of the data and results that came up with the top chart that displays the increase of the math scores student over a three year period. So we did have an increase in the scores um, on the math scores uh, over the three year period. Uh, other charts show the schedule that the student was placed on. All five staff were trained in um, the beginning months, August and January to start off for each semester. Uh, students were trained each month uh, in March, they were in the middle, in October also, the student were taking a mid test and a post test were taken in May and December to end the uh, semester. Here are the conclusions that we got from my study. Uh, 11 graders who participated in the research showed an increase in their uh, scores over a one year period. Expanding this study to include more students uh, in more grade level to prepare could determine how effective the action plan is. So one of the things we want to do is try to expand on this um, experiment and try to include more students from 9 through 12, not only just 11 graders. Students start when they first come in at 9th grade. And, and also we have implemented a bulldog period so uh, students can have that extra time for inter intervention and um, to help them improve on their weaknesses. Here's are some of the records that I use um, for my research. Here are also records continue that I use for um, to, to research some of the barriers that students may face, such as violence, poverty, and uncertified teachers. Here's are some of the um, Alabama instructional leadership standards that were mastered during my research. Uh, the students promote instructional practice that were consistent with knowledge of child learning and development, effective pedagogy, and needs of each student. The, the, again, the uh, teachers were given professional development to improve their content knowledge. Uh, employed value assessment that was consistent with knowledge of child learning. Again, the students were uh, given assessment pre, post, and daily to, to help them to uh, increase their score. So they won't um, just face it on ACT, they'll face it daily or sometime um, monthly based on what it, uh, the program they were going on. And also we use the uh, assessment data to uh, attack the students to try to help them with their, their weak areas was. And we also uh, use uh, F3 for developing teacher staff and professional knowledge of their uh, content area. So the teachers knew what to teach. So it's not only benefited the student, it benefited the teachers because the teacher knew understanding of the test. Here's the diversity plan um, that I did in IL552. The reason I chose it because I think it's very important that you as an instructional leader that you be able to reach all students, to meet all students so your school can be successful. Understanding diversity in your school. What is diversity? 
diversity is uh, understanding the difference. People where people come from, race, ethnicity, so mm -hmm. on, uh, on economic status, gender, exceptionality, religion, sexual orientation, and the area they come from. Diversity in education is important to help the students be susceptible. The importance of diversity is being, as a school leader, being able to meet the needs of all students. Um, very important to build relationship with students, and that's a very uh, important part of diversity. Poverty was again a high, um, a high part of our diversity plan, or can I say better word for that is a major issue. Um, our school again received federal funding due to a lot of students being in poverty. Uh, our students face daily issues such as hunger, lack of resources at home, high crime rate, truancy, and deprived sleep. And I think the big issue at our school right now is truancy. If the students are not at school, they're not able to learn. We had a high rate of truancy at Anderson High School in the last three years. Some of that was contributed to COVID because some of the students got used to being at home on virtual and they have improved over the last three years. We have implemented several programs such as an early warning intervention for truancy students. When they have three under school and absent, the parents and the students are required to come to the school for a conference. And also, here's are some of the goals that um, we want to implement, uh, have implemented with our uh, diversity plan to educate all teachers, staff, and administration about the cultural awareness of all students. Because again, a lot of our students um, are from the same area, but we do have a few students that come from different backgrounds. And so again, a lot of ESL students, and we need to be able to reach all those students. Maintain five and staff of color high and recruit more when needed and promote increased involvement with parents, community leaders, and all stakeholders involved. Here's are some of the standards that we mastered um, when I implemented the uh, diversity plan and to ensure each student is treated fairly respectful and understand the each student culture and content. C2, recognize, respect, employ each student's strength and diversity and culture as an asset for teaching and learning. And C3, ensure that each student has an equal access to effective teachers, learning opportunities, academic and social support, and other resources necessary for their success. Is there any questions?